Hi guys, this is Bex from Trista Bites. So last night I fell down the rabbit hole and discovered there is somewhere through the looking glass. At least there is in the vaults in London anyway. We might not be all mad here, but the sheer logistics of how they run the multi-threaded immersive theatre production that is Alice's Adventures Underground had me scratching my head nonetheless. Alice's Adventures Underground is a seriously impressive and expansive production. The first place you see is a themed bar and cloakroom areas with flamingo golf, wonderland set dressing etc before being ushered through to a room filled with writing desks, old photographs, handwritten riddles and letters, and bookcases with books carefully glued so as to appear mid fall. Whilst wondering how easy the setup might be to recreate in my living room, a figure suddenly appeared on a series of mirrors around the room. She asks who she is before vanishing and a bookcase opens up into a corridor to start your adventure. After descending into Wonderland and meeting several familiar faces, you get your first choice, eat me or drink me. Grow or shrink as an optical illusion lets you mimic Alice and decide your fate. From that point on you join one of two colours, then are further divided into suits and given your official sanctioned ultra sensible identification ticket, meaning there is a total number of four different interwoven simultaneous stories being acted out for every performance. Your story puts you on the side of Her Majesty's Red Suit or the Worm Rebels and you are only reunited with the entirety of the rest of the group for the grand finale. Comparing the original trailers to the new one and what I saw while there, this run of the show has been much upgraded and added to from the first run. My experience had me looking for jam tarts dealing traitors, listening to beautiful song on the lake complete with rainfall, yes underground, from the mock turtle, and a brief encounter with a Cheshire cat. Humpty Dumpty made fun of my name for not well describing my shape, and a chef tried to turn my friend into lunch. Having spoken to others who attended, the stories and locations were completely different, with very few points of crossover, meaning you could definitely attend this twice, choosing to eat once and drink the other, and not see any of the same characters or sets. In fact, they run a ticket option that allows you to do just that, with a discount on the overall price. Everything about this production was exceptionally well thought out, meticulously planned, and the atmosphere and attention to detail were the smallest items. From posters on the walls he walked past and notes left lying around on tables meant I could have happily explored the set with no cast for hours. The actors for the performance I attended were brilliant. The performances were spot on, with a mixture of prepared lines and ad libs with energetic banter mixed in seamlessly. The costumes were delightfully playful twists on the characters and the puppets were amazing and life size. If this show does a run near you, I would highly recommend it. I'd be amazed if it doesn't come back to London for another run, as its extended showing so far has been consistently sold out, even with performances starting every hour. I'm back in the real world now, sadly, and as to whether we stop the Jam Tart Thieves or Saved Wonderland, I'll leave that up to you to discover. Thank you very much for watching anyway, and you can follow Trista Bites on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!